So, Jersey was fun. As you can see, I won the Jamaican banana. Uh, so, besides checking all the chicks and getting shit-faced, uh, it started to rain, so me and my bro went to see Captain America. Yeah, it was a good movie. And, uh, oh, so, so then, you know, it's still raining, we have to go back to the, to the hotel, we're watching TV, you know, 2012, and he's like, you don't actually believe that shit, right? And I'm like... I believe that the government is going to sell us out December 21st, 2012, and that's when the 2.4 trillion is going to end, but, uh, he thought I was just talking about the government, so, whatever. That 2.4 trillion delay, I mean, it can only last for so long. Remember, Obama borrowed a trillion for the stimulus plan. Until the next time. You know, whatever. My bro is like, if it happens, it happens. Who cares? I'm like, those living to die shall meet death. While I was taking the Port Authority back, I uh, no chance. found some disturbing news about this fall. The Port Authority is proposing raising tolls on all its Hudson River crossings this year. Tolls for cars using Easy Pass would increase from $6 to $10 during off-peak hours and from $8 to $12 during peak hours. Truck tolls would increase by $6. An additional $2 increase would be implemented for both cars and trucks in 2014. The Port Authority says the increase is necessary due to an unprecedented need for infrastructure overhaul, three consecutive years of 0% growth in operating expenses, and billions spent on post-9-11 security. For 10%, 15%, it's understandable, but 50%, that's way too much. I will probably take the public transportation. I will not, I will consider twice taking the car. I think it's way too much. They're killing us. $8 a day, it's tough. Imagine 12. The Port Authority says it's planning to raise the base path fare by $1 to 275 the 30-day unlimited pass from $54 to $89. The Board of Commissioners will consider the proposal at a meeting on August 19th. Public hearings will take place on August 16th. For a list of times and places, visit our website, ny1.com. This is sick. New Yorkers unite to fight this F.U. toll. So later on, I came back, went to this funeral up in Long Island somewhere. I forgot what it was called. Keep forgetting the national. So then I meet up with some other friends to celebrate, you know, uh, one of our friends going off to the army and we had to see him off. So, yeah, it was his last night in New York. Uh, Planet of the Apes and whatnot. Then later on we went off to, well, you know how do you say stay in Vegas? I can't say what else we did. While we're talking about people, I might as well mention all the people who I'm associated with. And once they watch this video, they're probably going to de-add me. You know, off Facebook, because, you know, who wants to be linked to this guy? Uh, yeah, they don't want, they, 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 they won't see this for a while, so I might as well, what the hell. Uh, everything's going great with Frank and my mom, they still have their jobs and everything. Uncle Mikey is still telling me movies to watch on Turner Classic, there's Aunt Jenny and Danny took the photo. I'd show you a photo of my boss Terrence, but I don't want to get fired, so... And Cheney won this essay contest about getting wasted. There's Frank's relatives, Frank Senate, who gave me my watch. There's Carmel, and over there's Terrence. Uh, different Terrence, not the one who gave me a job. This is my psycho cousin, Shane, who's in Ireland. Uh, oh, and his friend, who happens to have the same name. Um, he's equally as crazy. Um, apparently, th this is just the word, they managed to blow up a strip joint, and... Yeah. Oh, this is his sister, who's my sister on Facebook, uh, Avril McGovern. Uh, my cousins, Corey and Alec. James doesn't have a Facebook. My grandma, Bridey, who is past 80 years of age. Oh, James, Corey and Alex's dad is working on the new Freedom Tower. Who could forget Kirk Fisher? My prom date, Ashley Elizabeth. There is my neighbor, Patrick Harrison. Uh, oh, here are my bros. 
Andrew Manello, Brian Lambert, and Patrick Colgan. As long as I mentioned to Patrick Colgan, I'll mention his sister, Sarah Colgan, who is an inspiration to us all. Well, and here's the Wolf Pack, Michael Cosgrove, Sean Ruane, Matthew Calaro, Spirit of Glopius, who is completely insane, and of course, Patrick Murphy, who has saved my life on multiple occasions. For instance, when he came back from the party last night, uh, he trod me off at my house, and he went upstairs, and uh, if he didn't, I pre he probably would have just trod me off at St. Barnabas. And uh, you know this, you know how people like to jump me all the time? Uh, there's actually a guy waiting, and uh, he's like, is that fucking Paul McGovern? It's like, who's that? Patrick's like, the Let's just forget him. And like, so we go upstairs, lock the door. The guy was ready to break down the door. So, yeah. And I might as well tell you the people who, uh, you know, support my fan base on, on Facebook, who uh, continuously urge me to make these videos. Uh, Michelle, Michelle, Brittany, Noel, Eileen. Is there any other people? Oh, yeah, Adam Farello. He never comments on my videos, though. He just watches them. Speaking of people from my old school, there's Sheldon, Aiden, who's going to my same college, and Paul Alex Lazo, one of the greatest actors of all time, but not quite as great as me. Now let's talk about why we should be afraid of our government. Women could soon get free contraceptive coverage. A medical advisory group recommended yesterday that as part of the nation's health care overhaul, insurance companies pay for birth control, including the controversial morning after pill. A final decision could be made by August 1st. New recommendations on the idea of free birth control are creating quite a buzz now at 9. The report commissioned by the Department of Health and Human Services suggests free birth control could solve certain social problems and save U.S. taxpayers money. Supporters point out that half of all pregnancies in the United States are unplanned. Critics say taxpayers who have moral issues surrounding birth control shouldn't be forced to pay so others can use it. Now at 9, where do you come out on the free birth control debate? All right, let's get to your comments. We have Donna Bean Brown, and here's what she has to say. I think it should be paid on a sliding scale. If you can afford it, you should pay for it. If you can't, then yes, it should be totally free. And Jean Bach, uh, Bachman, Bach Shuttle, Bach and, I can't even say it. I sorry, Jean Bach and Shuttle. Of course, it is cheaper to provide birth control than to pay to help a mom and child for 18 years and perhaps longer. Leslie Maldonado, it should be mandatory for some women, but definitely a good idea to offer it free to those who choose to wait. Jen Lohman says if it means more women will actually use it, so there will be less unexpected pregnancies, which ultimately means less abortions, then yes, give it away. To start off with, the morning after pill is basically abortion. Let's just go back in a time where it was Germany, their economy was collapsing. So uh, they distracted the people by encouraging drugs and sex as much as possible. Get it started, get it started. It's right and it's rising. It's rising terrible. Oh my, get out of the way, please. It's burning, bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the morning fast and all the folks between us. This is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's, 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 Oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky. It, it, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now, and the flame is crashing to the ground, not quite to the mooring mass. All the humanity and all the planets are just screaming around it. I don't do it. I can't even talk to people. The spins are out there. It's, 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 uh, oh. I, I can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, it's just like there are massive smoking wreckage. And everybody can hardly breathe and talk and scream. Lady, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I, I can hardly breathe. I, I'm going to step inside where I cannot see it. I'm <laughs> sorry. Let's... And now, friends, I want to tell you, I'm back here. I want to tell you that the wreckage is still flaming out there, but I have some very good news for you. Uh, I just came from the front of the building where they have set up an emergency station, and they claim that between 25 and 30, that is the estimate, between 25 and 30 are saved out of the wreckage. Now, I have here a total of 39 passengers and 61 crew. That would make an even 100, but they tell me there were about 106 on board, so that makes 35 out of, uh, between 25 and 30, out of 106 so far uh, saved and, and uh, accounted for, that is what they have been identified. Happy belated 50th birthday, Obama.